Hi, everyone. I'm Donna. I'm Mary. I'm Stu. And we're so happy you joined us today. Stu and I almost match with the colors of our shirts. <laughs> we're all wearing black. Today. We're all wearing black. <laughs> But it's not because it's a gloomy day, but we just happen to be wearing black. And today we're testing another four burgers from another four of the fast food places. Um, we're gonna start with the Sonics burger. And here's our, whoops, uh -oh. <laughs> here is our Sonic burger. And it is a pretty good sized burger. Show yeah, it? pretty big. Yeah, and let's see here. Here's my hand compared to the burger. I'm not sure on the price on it. I'm wanting to think it was $4.99 because what we did is we were hungry, so we got the combos. So we could get the little tater tots, and we got a root beer to drink in the car. I'm thinking by itself. Maybe it was five ninety nine. Anyway, it's a yeah. good size burger. We need to keep the receipt. So we're eat. I'm gonna cut it in quarters like we do in our videos, and we're each gonna taste and see which one is better of all the burgers today. So right now we're doing the Sonics. Now I ordered them all without cheese. Um. They, they do come with cheese. So let's see how these taste. Patties look like they're a good size. Mm -hmm. They're not super thin. Let's try it. My mind was telling a different story. I felt all people smile when my uncontrolled feelings. Some mental health meds can cause target disease at 4 TV, and it's unlikely to improve without treatment. My it husband's having problems picking it up. Um, the meat has a really good flavor, but my tomato isn't very fresh. It has like a weird flavor to it, so I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> but otherwise, it's really pretty good. I really like the the meat. Mm -hmm. It has good flavor. What do you think, baby? So far, so good. Mm, I'm not really sure if I like this one. This tomato really threw off the flavor for me. Because it's kind of like all over my, my piece now. All the tomato juices. But that tomato wasn't good. Hmm. Not my favorite, but it's not bad. Definitely not the worst one we tasted. Yeah. Okay. The second place we went to was Freddy's. So Freddy's while I'm trying to figure out the price because we did the same thing there. Oh, $7.49 was what the one from Freddy's cost. So Freddy's looks like a pretty good size, same size as the Sonic Burger, I would say. I think it looks a little smaller. Yeah, it is a little smaller. It has a ton of meat on it. it looks like that. Like there's a bunch of meat. The patties are a little flat. These are, they, they call these steak burgers, so that's probably why they're flat like that. They might yeah. be actual steak. So it looks like there's onions and pickles and mustard on this one. Again, it came with cheese, but we had them keep the cheese off. Yeah. And then, oh, the Sonic one came with tomatoes, onions, pickles, and maybe lettuce. 
65% say they don't have enough people applying for the job. And 4% say the issues immediately impact daily police operations, things like reducing services or reallocating units. You said you course, by Drake Clark, who joins us now here in the studio. Drake, you spoke to police officers about how this is impacting them on a personal level. It almost looks like Philly cheesesteak. I like this one. It has good flavor. I like how they mix the um, mustard and pickles. I like sour stuff, like I like mustard and dill pickles and stuff like that. So I actually really like this one. To keep up with the demand, and in some cases, also uh, response times to and the meat is good are down as well. Well, Dre, we know that morale has certainly been mentioned mm. many times at many departments. I don't like this morale. one at all. What was the you most know? common morale issue you heard from these officers? So, there's a couple of factors, but the, yeah, I the like main it. Uh, reason we kept hearing is that these new policies and procedures like at city council it's okay. and city commission. Yeah. And even some state legislatures are now Do you like the first one better or that one? officers are being told they have to relearn or rethink Not to how they apprehend really? and arrest a suspect here. And that's I will say I wish the Freddy's one had more and because of these toppings. And policies mm -hmm. and procedures, it's a little plain. Yeah, so but it is steak meat. I can tell that. Mm -hmm. and for sure. Maybe Rather than hamburger meat. Arresting very violent suspects off the streets. Yep. Only to learn hours later of yeah. It's definitely a steak burger. And we asked for no cheese, and they gave us cheese at Baker's. All right. Mm -hmm. They gave us cheese, but we did ask for no cheese. That's always kind of a pet peeve of mine is if I ask for something and I get something different. That speaks to the service and how much attention that they're paying to what we're saying. Although my voice was very scratchy in the car. It's starting to clear up now, but it was very scratchy. So it could just be they didn't understand what I was saying. <clears throat> So yeah, our next burger is Baker's. Oh, do you want me to show? No, no, no. Yes, go ahead. Okay. My hands are clean. That's the Baker's burger. Pretty standard. Yeah, I think it's about maybe the same size as the Freddy's. Yeah. The Sonic did seem to be a little bigger than Bo. It did, yeah. And cheese. I asked for it without cheese, but they still gave it me the cheese. I'm sorry, baby. My husband doesn't really care for the American cheese that they put on birds. I can't say I care for the American cheese either. So this one looks really good. Good sized patties, lettuce, tomato, um, Thousand Island. So, I don't know if it's Thousand Island or their secret sauce. Yeah. Seems like all the hamburgers, we, Mary and I were talking about that as we were going, picking up these burgers. That it seems like almost every burger place has their own sauce. So, mm -hmm. so. Or they just put ketchup and mustard. Mm -hmm. This looks like two patties. Mm -hmm. They've all been two patties. As we're trying to take, we're trying to test similar. They've got cheese on it. Yeah, and we asked for no cheese, but so the double baking, the double baker was five twenty-five. I think so far it's the lowest priced one. Um. Yeah, I like this one. I will say the cheese. Since they put like two pieces of cheese because it's a double, it's kind of overwhelming. I like cheese, so I would probably just put one piece of cheese if you're getting this burger and you like cheese. But if you like a lot of cheese, just get it right there. And if you don't like cheese, make sure you get your no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I like this one. I mean, there comes a point when it's like, 
Would you like that one, babe? Oh, it's all three. Yep. And our last one. Jack in the box. I haven't said one way or another on the bakers because I don't have to decide yet. My mom feels like it's still hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's probably kind of hard for you to, to decide with the bakers because it has to be. So, this is the, um, <laughs> the Jack in the Box was, um, $6.99. Jack in the Box burger looks pretty standard. It's actually pretty big. Um, oops. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's kind of hard because it's in this wrapping paper, but, yeah. That's the Jack in the Box one. I think this is the double Jack. Something like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was called a double, yeah, a double jack. A double jack. Which is because it has two caps. Okay, that's like really weird. Mm, it's a split bun. It's like a butter bun, so they, when they, um, when they make it, it like rises and it's just a little split. Okay. So it's a butter bun, as she said. It's cuddly. Yeah. It's because I'm doing it on my plate, not the cutty board like I did all the others on. <laughs> it's here. Let go sweeter. This one for you. Uh, it's got lettuce and pickles, tomato, some kind of sauce. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, Jack in the Box burgers aren't necessarily my favorite, but I'm really going to try not to be biased, and I know that Miss Donna and Mr. Stu don't really eat Jack in the Box, so I'm going to try to give you guys the best review we can. What you think of this one? Is that the jack? Did they put cheese in it? Mm -hmm. Yes, we asked. Yeah. For, yeah, we asked for no cheese. Again. So they put cheese in this one as well. Mm. This is actually not terrible. Mm -hmm. think of it. Not terrible. <laughs> Mm. Did you like them all about the same, babe, or did you have a favorite? Oh, thank you. I think... I kind of hate to say this, but I think I like this one better than the Sonic one. I'm gonna... Personally, I'm gonna put Sonic at the bottom. Mm. If you think you were exposed to HIV or have flu like symptoms, tell your doctor right away. They may check to confirm you're still HIV negative. Serious side effects can occur, including kidney problems and kidney failure. Rare life threatening <laughs> side effects include a little lactic acid and liver problems, and more common side effects with diarrhea. Tell your doctor about all the medicines and supplements you take, or if you have a little problem with your kidney. You can have a good time. Do not stop taking this pill without talking to your doctor. Ask your doctor if it's going to be right for you. It can help pain for the school to I think I like this one better because it had mustard, and I really love, like, mustard or pickles on my burgers. And I'm going more for the taste of the meat because that's the main ingredient in there rather than, like, all the sauces and stuff. So because of that, um, I, I'm with Mary, I hate to admit it, but... I think that Jack in the Box did have more flavor. Uh, yeah, agreed. Um, 
Freddy's was a steak burger, which you would think was a good thing, but it was, to me, flavorless, so I put that one at the bottom. Oh, okay. Um, Sonics and Burgers, I felt were pretty competitive. They were... You mean Freddy's? No, Sonic and Baker's. Oh, Baker's, okay. So I think I would go Jack in the Box, Sonic, Baker's, and Freddy's. Okay. Um, I think I would do... I'm going to put Baker's on top. Well, mm. oh, this is hard. This yeah, is so hard. It is very hard because I have to tell you... They were all good. The only one I absolutely can tell you I didn't like was the Freddy's. Mm. Yeah, I, so I'm gonna put Sonic at the bottom. That one, um, I don't know if it just didn't fit my flavor palette, but that one just, the flavor just kind of turned, turned me off. It's a steak burger. It's the one that had like the steaks in it. From Freddy's. Freddy's steak burgers. It's yeah, it's right up the street by where like, where Walmart is. It's right there. Did you want another taste of any of these, no. honey, or are you full? Oh, they're all good to me. So yeah, I put Sonic at the bottom. Maybe Nine winners were just one mega ball number shot of taking home. This I'm having a hard time. Ask somebody else. <laughs> well, Stu liked them all. Yeah. Um, what did you put on top? Jack in the box? Oh, okay, wow. Um, so I think I'm going to put Baker's on top. Um, and then I'm going to do... I actually really like the Freddy's burger, so I think I'm going to do Freddy's second. And then Jack in the Box and then Sonic. Because Jack in the Box was still like not the I don't know. Maybe I'll put I'm so indecisive. Hold on. So we're gonna do Sonic, then Freddy's, then Jack in the Box, then Baker's. Because Freddy's was a little flavorless. I feel like with that burger, if you customized it a little more, it could be really good. But they just didn't really put enough on it. There was no seasoning or anything on the steak burger. And yeah. when you cook a steak, you usually do put like or some, some yeah. type of seasoning on it. And this was just a plain steak burger with no, no taste to it whatsoever. So that's why I put that one at the bottom. It was the only one I felt had no flavor. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, I kind of I kind of did like Jack in the Box a little better because it had a lot of like flavor to it and I was kind of pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. um, because I didn't really expect that. Right. Um so yeah, but then Sonic just I didn't the flavor of that one just didn't uh didn't hit the spot for me, I guess you could say. So you're doing Baker's number one? Uh-huh. Okay. And I was thinking that Jack in the Box was more number one, but the Baker's was good as well. So since we're debating Baker's and Jack in the Box, let's determine number one with, with the, price. the price. So yeah. Jack in the Box was six ninety nine. Okay. Um, and the Baker's was five twenty five. Quite a big difference. So, since we're weighing taste and price, I would say we should put Baker's number one. Yeah. Um, it, it was actually what's interesting, and this we have found this a lot with our burger comparisons, but a lot of times the one we like the best is number one. Like when we did the first burger thing where we used In-N-Out, they were the cheapest burger, and yet they were the best. So, Baker's... And then even last time we did Wendy's and they were a good price for a good burger. Um, so yeah. Freddy's was seven fifty. Mm. Um, I thought I saved all the receipts, but oh, there's one. There oh, Jack in the Box. That that one's Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box was six ninety nine. Yeah, and then Baker's was only five twenty-five. Yeah. So we're gonna rank Baker's as number one today. Yeah, even though they did, they we asked for no cheese, 
and they still gave us cheese and same thing with the Jack in the Box. Their burgers were just a little better than the other two places. So, yeah, that kind of sucks that their service was a little, because we did ask for no cheese. It, it literally says no cheese, no American cheese right here. <laughs> they still put cheese on it. But, um, you know, I think Baker, Baker's is the best tasting burger for for the best value. So, so that would be number one. So we're going to yeah. go with Baker's as number one today. That's our winner. And then Baker. number two? Um, I would say number two. Here, let's see the price. You said this one was like... Uh, Five six bucks. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm wanting to say five forty nine or something like that. Um, five ninety nine. Yeah, but we didn't like the flavor. Freddy's was seven forty nine. They were like the most expensive, and I didn't care for them at all. But you had ranked them. I didn't rank them last. I rank them second to last because I was kind of disappointed by the meat. I like the overall flavor of the burger and like how they put it together, but the meat was, you were right, like they should have put some um, seasonings mm -hmm. and I just liked the flavor of Jack in the Box's burger better. So I think we're going to go with Jack in the Box then for number two? Yeah, yeah, okay. probably. And then it's really hard because Freddy's was expensive, but I also, like personally, I really didn't like Sonic's. It just was, it was not good to me. Mm -hmm. Just there's no cheese. Everything. Yeah, and they still put cheese on it. Yeah. Well, it happens. Uh, yeah, and I don't have a problem with it. Oh, no, don't put it in there. I have to save the Reese's with that case. So we're debating the Freddy's and the Sonic right now. So if we go back to price, the Freddy's was seven fifty, and the Sonic was like five ninety nine. So, what can I have more? I, I didn't think the Sonic was tasteless. I, I thought it had flavor to it. Um, I know that what happened with hers is she said her tomato wasn't done, although we both had the same burger. We just talked about I didn't have a big piece of tomato in mine, and I didn't notice anything with the tomatoes, so that's probably why yeah, my feelings are a little reversed on that. Yeah, my tomato was just kind of, it wasn't fresh. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, the, when I took the bite, the flavor was just, it had flavor, but I just didn't like it. You know, not my preference, I guess. Well, since we're debating that, we're going to go to price, and in that case, Sonic's wins price-wise, yeah. which puts Freddy's at the bottom, which is kind of sad because they were the most expensive one. Yeah. So, you know, that happens a lot with our, our burger things is the cheaper one ends up being number one with flavor, and the most expensive one ends up at the bottom. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes we think, well, that must be a really good burger because it's like $8 and then you get it and it's really not. Yeah. So, number one, bake, no. Number one was Baker's. Number one was Baker's. Number two, Jack in the Box. Number three, Sonic. Number four, Freddy's. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us today as we tasted these burgers for you so you would get an idea. I am going to be doing a top 10 list of the fast food burgers. So, um, when I do that, I'll be posting it. If you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time we upload a video and that way you know you can check out the new videos that we put in and be sure not to miss the top 10 um, fast food burgers also if you could please uh, like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notifications every time we post a new video mm -hmm. and don't forget to share it with your friends yes so we will see you next time thanks for watching us and you guys are the best bye bye, bye everyone bye.